Okay, I woke up and we had a tiny bit of frost, just a few patches. A county down really had some frost, so it's time to overwinter the pots that I am going to overwinter. So my guava plants and any, any of the citrus, lemon thyme, vervain, all are going in into the basement. So let me show you how I do that. All right. As crazy as this sounds, the pots that are going to go in, I get the tender perennials. A lot of our annuals are actually perennials. So what I do is I dig up a couple because I could do cuttings and they either make it or they don't. So, hold on, I should have watered this as you hear it ripping. So these just go into these pots and some are herbaceous and they just die down for the year in the spring they reawaken and some just stay in this form actually this is a great plant the polka dot plant is a house plant all year so again it's going to die out here anyway so why not give a chance for a couple of them okay anything that's going to lose its leaves anything herbaceous I'm putting it in a corner and basically it doesn't get a lot of light, a little light. So the lemon verbane is going to drop all these leaves. When that happens, collect those leaves. This is like tea all winter. It's perfect or for cooking. As far as the guava, they lose their leaves. All their um, annual plants that are actually tender perennials. Some of those died back and then they just come back in the spring. They're herbaceous. And some will just keep the foliage. Polka dot plant doesn't like lots of light, so it works out perfect. Water. I'm not going to water these. It's still warm in here. I'll keep them semi moist, but the minute the temperatures get down to 45, 40 in here, I'm going to feel the soil. And if I could put my finger in and it's not like Sahara Desert, I'd let it be. So once a month, I might water them. I can't let them totally dry out, but you want to keep them. Um, it's like um, cool, not damp soil. So, okay, let me show you one more thing. I always forget subscribe like and share and later this week i'm going to show you what to do with the containers that you're leaving out or you're letting the annuals just die there i have a great video for that see you then forgot one thing my pomegranate and other um, tropical plants or anything producing fruit i'm not putting them in the basement i'm actually putting them in the well house that has all that glass there and it's going to stay in there until it's done fruiting. I've tried to uh, fruit the pomegranate in the basement and it just stops right then. So a sunny window, I might even just bring it in the, you know, basically inside for the night. And then it's going to be warmer later this week for like four days. Okay, I'm done now.